Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 and I finally decided to send a lunar mission over in the shuttle. So the capsule here is the Lynx spacecraft which is 4 meters in diameter and is about the mass of the Apollo spacecraft. So it is meant to be a more modernized Apollo so I don't have to use Apollo. The service module under it is a methane oxygen service module and then we have a centaur stage. This is a large centaur stage, not the smaller one that would be better in this situation because I am underfueling that centaur stage by a, by a half. So I would like a smaller centaur stage. This is the one from Raider Nix US Rockets Pack that is meant for the Titan IV, not really meant for the shuttle. Uh, if I fully fueled it, it would take up the entire shuttle capacity of 26 tons because I've got half fueled, I have enough for the capsule and its service module. So that is what we are launching over to the moon. And if you're wondering whether we have enough Delta V, well, it depends on what kind of lunar capture we do. If we were to capture around the moon in a tight orbit like Apollo did, we, we do not have enough for that. Uh, we are going for a loose orbit like the Orion spacecraft would do, and for that we have enough. So we're matching Orion in that respect, but we're only carrying three crew like Apollo, so there is that deficiency. We're not carrying four like Orion does in order to make sure that the spacecraft is light enough. And here I am uh, trying to make sure that the fuel is going complete and I accidentally was doing that while the boosters separated so we didn't get booster separation. I was trying to make sure that the Centaur stage oxygen and hydrogen were not being depleted by the main engines. They weren't, but I was getting paranoid at that point. And here we are with the main engine shut down, the launch guidance from the Giulio Dondi OPS-1 has completed and it hands over control to me and I complete orbit with the OMS engines. So all together this is about the capacity of the space shuttle, 26 tons it is, this stack. It would be more efficient if I had the smaller Centaur so we're not carrying extra dry mass. It would also be more efficient if I had a better methane oxygen engine on the Lynx's service module because that one is currently a pressure-fed engine that isn't particularly efficient. I think it's like 340, 350-ish seconds of ISP. So we could certainly do better on that. Uh, but anyway, we might as well start off with some margin and work from there. So off goes the mission and soon enough we'll switch to it and see its exact mass actually. So 26.783 tons, so a little bit on the heavy side, so but still doable. And here we are managing the transfer plot. So it'll be 3,143 meters per second, and the Centaur stage, half-fueled, gives us about 2,100 of that. Then the service module on the Lynx does the rest. So it finishes the transfer to the moon and then capture and then return. So it needs to do 1,053 on this burn. Again, those Centaur parts are all from the US rockets pack by Raider Nick. Raider Nick had made a smaller Centaur for me, but I don't know where I've put it. It's been so long, it's been years and years since uh, Raider Nick gave that to me. But yeah, I didn't get around to using it. Now, one problem that we have is we've got 18 days of food, water, and oxygen here for our crew, for our three crew here. And normally that would be great, but it turns out that I've misjudged this a little bit. Um, when we get into this elongated loose orbit around the moon, it's essential that when we come back, our apoapsis is retrograde, basically retrograde in terms of the moon's motion around the Earth. I had to check back on the shuttle because TAC Life Support kept telling me that the electric charge was depleting and it wasn't. It's got a fuel cell and the fuel cell is good for 14 days at least. We were only three days in on this trip to the moon. But yeah, things are not being kept track of exactly right. I ended up pretty high on the periapsis around the moon. I decided to go with it just to have some more margin. If we're closer to the moon, it'd be more efficient. This is looser and a little bit less efficient, but it gives us a little bit more margin for future missions. So, 
that's the ignition of the engine. We've got 700 meters per second here and captures like that. We don't need a whole lot to capture, but it depends on what orbital period we want. So being high up, it means that this part, the return part, is a little bit less accurate. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm making sure the apoapsis is on the retrograde side of the moon's orbit, but the timing is a little bit off here. It's not horrible, but if it was perfect, then I would be able to do this burn right at periapsis. Instead, I'm doing this burn a little bit after periapsis, and that means that perhaps I should have started this earlier, or I forget which way around it is, maybe earlier or later. So I tried to help it out by doing a correction burn to bring our periapsis close to the moon to uh, maybe give us a little bit more Oberth help. And then boost up, and we have enough but it's really tight. It would not please NASA. So there is that. But here I do the correction to bring the periapsis down. You can see the periapsis getting tighter and tighter there. And the issue is, you can see the time in the upper left corner. We had 18 days and a bit worth of supplies and we're on day 17. So actually we don't have enough to get back. <laughs> so uh, I have misjudged the food water and oxygen. We just need a few more days worth. Uh, preferably we would want to pack m much more than this, maybe four weeks worth would be good. So yeah, a little bit of a mistake there. And once we pack that much, would we have enough Delta V? Well, we should probably improve on that. One way to improve on that is by having a properly sized Centaur stage instead of one that is only half full. So I'll look into that, but it is certainly possible to do a lunar mission just with the space shuttle, with the space shuttle capacity. There's a lunar mission just to go to a lunar gateway and come back, basically is all it would do. It's not the lander portion here, but you can do this bit. And if the service module on the Lynx was a Hydrolox service module, it would have been even better in terms of Delta V. So we have some options in order to improve upon it. But there you have it, that is the beginnings of a shuttle-based lunar mission. It does require the Centaur stage, but a lot of good things with the shuttle do. Anyway, with that, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.